If you look behind me here, we've got Invest 92L. This was at one point potential disturbance number two, and then we've got potential disturbance two now. That's that renamed storm down near the Bay of Campeche here. And that's the storm that is looking like it's going to follow in the footsteps of Alberto. It's this Central American gyre still very strong and little pieces of low pressure break off. And that's what we're tracking. The chance of development upgraded now to 40% over the next seven days. But the next two days, 2% 2 chance here. So we're not looking at anything in the immediate future. We're talking a little closer towards the weekend. The exclusive Fox model giving you a, a timestamp here. Areas in southern Texas, you might get a bit of a, a reprieve as this next system once again starts to form and travel towards the north and west into the Gulf of Mexico. But overall, we also have to take it back into the Atlantic Basin. This was a cold front that moved off of the coast of the United States. We were watching as it was trying to get its act together. Too much dry air near this storm. And also, we have a lot of dry air it has yet to encounter as it gets closer to the um, southeastern coastline. Overall, what I think you can expect here are going to be some showers, maybe some larger waves off of the shore. Higher rip currents will be another factor as well. So if you're heading out towards the beach when you go into Friday morning and into the evening, for Jacksonville, you could encounter some thunderstorms. Lightning would be a feature here as well. Uh, but overall, just make sure that you uh, travel safely if you head out in towards the waters, but maybe some surfers. It might be exactly what you wanted to, uh, to have happen here. Uh, but this is just the very beginning. We can finally cross off name number one from our list, but we certainly have a long way to go. Is Beryl staring uh, at us with uh, this other potential disturbance? It's left to be deciphered. Uh, when we talk about storms that are multiple days removed from development, the forecast is very uncertain. Models have a hard time getting a gauge as to what is going to happen, but Beryl could be the next in line. But one thing that we still know for sure, we are forecasting it to be an active season. And we went from pretty sleepy in the tropics to now overly active. And again, we are just in the to late June. We've got a long way to go as we head into peak hurricane season, which is August and September, Steve.